The ascent is finally here. And when it comes to good old fashioned carnage, there's only one thing that'll get the job done. More guns. Hey there friends, it's Olivia here, one half of the team behind Legacy Gaming. And today we're revealing the hidden guns that you absolutely need to get in the ascent. So here's the deal. If you're looking for the best gear in the Ascent, you have to travel off the beaten path. The Neon Giant team did an absolutely incredible job bringing over the top cyberpunk guns to the game. But if you only stick to the main quest, chances are you're never going to see them. Today, we're going to share a handful of our favorite tools of the destruction, walk you through how to get them, and of course, show them in action. Our first stop today takes us to the high street level of the Arcology. This is one of the regions that you'll have access to later on in the game and there are plenty of secrets worth uncovering once you get here. Now the first gun on our list today is the Magma Maker. And like I said in the intro, unless you know where to look, this weapon could easily be overlooked. You see that gold building in the center of the area? Yeah, that's actually a building. And lucky for you, since Kodiak wasn't nearly as curious as I was, I found an elevator that takes you right to the heart of the Golden Satori. Inside you'll find a few quests, a little bit of gambling, but more importantly, a special weapons vendor. That's right. For around 25,000 Ucred, you can straight up buy a flamethrower that absolutely chews through organic targets. Now the Magma Maker is built for players that like to get up close and personal with enemies, and is a perfect weapon for a tank in your group of friends. Now as you'd expect, the weapon does consistently high fire damage, duh, but has a very limited range, which also means you have to be right in the thick of the action. This means making smarter, more defensive choices when it comes to your augs, mods, and armor is going to be absolutely pivotal when it comes to using this weapon. But enough talk, let's see it in action. Next up, we have one of the most functional special weapons in the game, the ABR Commander. Now, if you're the type of player that chooses the soldier archetype in every game you play, this gun is for you. It's a burst fire rifle with tracking bullets, which means you no longer have to worry about where you aim as long as you're shooting in the right general direction. The thing about the ABR Commander, it's been right under your nose the entire time. To find this weapon, head back to Cluster 13 and head down towards the bottom of the map. There, you'll notice a small alley that leads up towards a chest. Now here's the kicker. You do need ice too to get into this chest, which means you'll need to track down a number of cyber decks to crack this bad boy open. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, make sure to check out our Wish I Knew Sooner video, where we go into more detail about icing, cyberdecks, and a whole lot more. Now, if you've got the cyberware, ice the chest and claim your prize, the ABR Commander. Now, in action, this gun is great, easily one of the most balanced weapons in the game. It won't win any awards for flashiness, but if you're looking for a workhorse that'll get the job done every single time, the ABR Commander is the gun for you. All right, so maybe you're looking for a gun with a little more pop, something with a bit more bang. How about a gun that you can pick up ridiculously early in your adventure that fires explosive rounds? Sound good? Great. The Overwhelmer is the next gun on our list. And look, we're not saying that you can get this within the first couple of hours of the game, but you can if you're stupid lucky and a little bit crazy. The Overwhelmer is quite literally sitting in the back of a truck, but that truck is surrounded by level 25 roided out psycho. So yeah, in theory, you could try and run and pick up the item located here, but chances are you'll want to be a bit more geared out before you give it a try. Now, if death is your thing, there's a nifty achievement for you to get by dying a hundred times. So who are we to stop you? Now, if you do manage to pick up this weapon, you will not be sorry. The gun has a 20 round magazine, fires relatively quick projectiles, and does insanely high explosive damage that also has a small AOE component. The Overwhelmer can single-handedly take you through the entire game. And if you don't believe me, well just check it out for yourself. If you ever wanted to live out your fantasy of being a Ghostbuster in a grimy cyberpunk world, well fella, I got the gun for you. The Disintegrator is the last weapon on our list today, and it's the only energy weapon that we're showcasing in this video. But honestly, it's really the only one you need. 
The Disintegrator is exactly what you think it is, a damn energy cannon. And for 25,000 Ucreds, you could pick up this item and literally melt your enemies into blue goo. Much like the Magma Maker, to get this weapon, you just need to know where to look. And in this case, we're heading back to High Street towards the bottom of the map. Now, if you don't know much about energy weapons, let me just say this. It's always good to have one upgraded and ready to go just in case there are a few robot enemies in the mix. When I said the Disintegrator was the last weapon on the list, I meant it. But there is one more gun that we have to talk about. Now it's a gun so secret that we totally found it by accident. And we can't quite figure out exactly how to get you back there. Now look, we're professionals, damn it. And we're not going to lead you on a wild goose chase. Just know that we're going to figure this out. And there will be a full video here on the channel when we crack the mystery of how we got a particular NPC to appear. I won't leave you hanging though. I'll leave you with this thought. Flying saw blade. So there you have it, four, eh, kind of five, awesome weapons that you could pick up to make your time with the Ascent that much better. If you have any questions about the weapons we talked about today, or just want to share your thoughts on the game, feel free to leave a comment in the section below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Those two things are still the absolute best way to help us grow here at Legacy Gaming, and we'd love your support. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great community of around 7,000 members. So if you're looking for a new place to hang out and talk about great games, check out the link in the description. Finally, if you like what we're doing here at Legacy Gaming and you want to support us even more, consider becoming a member. For just a couple bucks, you can help keep this channel going and take our community to that next level. Look for the join button below to learn more. My name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.